How's it going, Mo? It's a pleasure to finally get a chance to talk to you, man. Um, I was telling uh, your cast that, you know, I got to check this out at South by Southwest last year, and it was one of my favorite films. And, you know, you know, oh, the film thank festival you. thing It's like, when when does the world get a chance to see it? Uh, and why you said thank you, thank you for making such an important uh, film now getting its distribution coming to theaters and video on demand February 3rd. Uh, what has that ride been like for you? The unpredictability in filming with the pandemic to getting it to world premiere at South by Southwest to now getting this theatrical release. What has that journey been for you? Man, it's been a journey of biblical proportions. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Oh, man. Thank you, brother, for what you said about the experience of seeing it at South by. Uh, I always felt ever since I was a kid, it's a weird thing that my life was not just about me. My purpose was not just about me. I think all the trials and tribulations in making this film, for me, meeting people like you that pose that question, I now get to be almost like an archetype of, of what uh, diligence looks like. Because the journey of making this film, starting off as this little skinny, poor kid in South Central L.A. that's just been living off of art and ambition. Everything I went through from the pandemic, the finance, all the difficulties to now have something, this offering that I could put into the world with a bunch of really incredible people. So it was just God and a phenomenal team, a ton of tears, literal blood, sweat and hard work that's got this movie to where it is right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, congratulations. You. Uh, you, you know, and I and I asked this question in all due respect. This film covers a lot, and I, I'm gonna come back to that statement in a, in a, in a moment. Uh, but this film covers a lot, and I mean, with the relevance, the relevance of you filming this in 2001, the relevance of you releasing this 2002, the relevance to now releasing in theaters in 2003, the relevance to the rewatchability of this in 2024. It just seems to be a pattern that me and you both know personally. Right. When does it ever change? When does it ever stop? I, I want to know at what point in, in the writer's room did you put the pen and pencil down and say, this is enough with all the different topics, all the different, the, 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 the narratives within the films, the conversations that are, the, the difficult conversations that are had. Uh, when, when did you know that this was enough just for the film? Man, I never stopped writing until the movie was done. I think we were constantly like making tweaks and adjustments, even whether even if it was subtle, small things that an actor would improv or just do in the moment. So it was just a constant thing. And they say a film is written three times. It's like on a page, when you shoot it, and then when you edit. So there have been a lot of different iterations and versions. And now I, I'm, I'm thankful and happy that I get to abandon this piece of art because it's never finished. Art is never finished, it's abandoned. And at this yeah. juncture is a point where I have to abandon it and it's going into the world. My guy, my guy. I love the title of this film, A Lot of Nothing, because it's it's the complete opposite of that. Right. I was wondering, was that sort of the ploy with the naming or how did you come up with the naming of the film? So initially the naming of the film started because I made a short film and the couple that this whole thing is based on, get all riled up. They want to do something. Ultimately, all they do is a lot of nothing. It's all talk. And, and then that began to be a, a concept that I really began to grow enamored with. Like, what does that really mean, a lot of nothing? And then the title justification moment is when a character discovers that they focus all their efforts, their entire life to amass all of these things that they that were ostensibly of, of great value but in the grand scheme of really understanding what's meaningful, those things amounted to a lot of nothing. And mm. that's what that title is. And then there's a lot more like metaphorical things around it, but that's like closest thing to like the literal almost uh, assessment of what that means in the film. Okay. Okay. I I, I feel that one. Uh, for my final question here, I mean, we, we got to look at your cast here. I mean, talking about the witchcraft and bringing such big names into a film that you personally funded here. It's what independent films are. How did you pull out this magic Houdini? Man, so the casting is a combination of a lot of magicians coming together, waving their wands in different directions, to use your analogy of the, of the magical elements. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have an incredible casting director, Leslie Wu, 
who was just coming off of that film, The Farewell, which is getting all these awards and was crushing it. Aquafina breaks records in history. And she read the script and was just like, I have to be a part of this. Even if you don't hire me, I'll still advise and consult. This is special and it has to be made. So with that being said, I was just like, all right, she's the person and her, my producing partner, Andy Clemens, we just canvassed the town. We saw a lot of great actors. Uh, I used my phone book. I had pre-existing relationships with some people and everyone just showed up and embodied these characters in a way that I'll forever be thankful for. There was the one, the first day that the five core actors all got in a room together. I'll never forget watching the scene on the monitor play out, making that day, it was like a 12 page day of shooting going in the room to thank everybody and I just bursted into tears. It, it was like a moment that I'll never forget of watching these people give so much to these words that I just put on the page from my heart and my mind. So they were all the perfect people then and just to embody these roles. My God, my God. Listen, man, congratulations again. Folks can check out a lot of nothing, a lot of nothing coming to theaters and video demand February 3rd. Mo, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and thank you so much for putting this film together. Thank you. Absolutely. Take care.